Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 96 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly go ahead right now, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Arulaba. Let's get started. Day 96, April 6, 2023, 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Deuteronomy 4, verse 15 to 49, Deuteronomy 5, New Testament, Luke 11, verse 5 to 32. Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 8, verse 32 to 36. Old Testament and IV version. Deuteronomy 4, verse 15 to 49. Idolatry forbidden. You saw no form of any kind the day the Lord spoke to you at Horeb out of the fire. Therefore, watch yourselves very carefully so that you do not become corrupt and make for yourselves an idol, an image, of any shape, whether formed like a man or a woman, or like any animal on earth, or any bird that flies in the air, or like any creature that moves along the ground, or any fish in the waters below. And when you look up to the sky and see the sun, the moon, and the stars, all the heavenly array, do not be enticed into bowing down to them and worshipping things the Lord your God has apportioned to all the nations under heaven. But as for you, the Lord took you and brought you out of the iron smelting furnace out of Egypt to be the people of his inheritance as you now are. The Lord was angry with me because of you and he solemnly swore that I would not cross the Jordan and enter the good land the Lord your God is giving you as your inheritance. I will die in this land. I will not cross the Jordan, but you are about to cross over and take possession of that good land. Be careful not to forget the covenant of the Lord your God that he made with you. Do not make for yourselves an idol in the form of anything the Lord your God has forbidden. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. After you have had children and grandchildren and have lived in the land a long time, if you then become corrupt and make any kind of idol, doing evil in the eyes of the Lord your God and arousing his anger, I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you this day that you will quickly perish from the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. You will not live there long, but will certainly be destroyed. The Lord will scatter you among the peoples, and only a few of you will survive among the nations to which the Lord will drive you. There you will worship man-made gods of wood and stone, which cannot see or hear or eat or smell. But if from there... You seek the Lord your God, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. When you are in distress and all these things have happened to you, then in latter days you will return to the Lord your God and obey him. For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not abandon or destroy you or forget the covenant with your ancestors, which he confirmed to them by oath. The Lord is God. Ask now that about the former days, long before your time, from the day God created human beings on the earth, ask from one end of the heavens to the other, has anything so great as this ever happened? Or has anything like it ever been heard of? Has any other people heard the voice of God speaking out of fire as you have and lived? Has any God ever tried to take for himself one nation out of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, or by great and awesome deeds like all the things the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? You were shown these things so that you might know that the Lord is God. Besides him, there is no other. From heaven, he made you hear his voice to discipline you. On earth, he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words from out of the fire. 
Because he loved your ancestors and chose their descendants after them, he brought you out of Egypt by his presence and his great strength to drive out before you nations greater and stronger than you and to bring you into their land and give it to you for your inheritance as it is today. Acknowledge and take to heart this day that the Lord is God in heaven above and on the earth below. There is no other. Keep his decrees and commands which I am giving you today so that it may go well with you and your children after you and that you may live long in the land the Lord your God gives you for all time. Cities of Refuge Then Moses set aside three cities east of the Jordan to which anyone who had killed a person could flee if they had unintentionally killed a neighbor without malice or forethought. They could flee into one of the cities and save their life. The cities were these, Bezer in the wilderness plateau for the Reubenites, Ramoth in Gilead for the Gadites, and Golan in Bashan for the Manassites. Introduction to the law. This is the law Moses said before the Israelites. These are the stipulations, decrees, and laws Moses gave them when they came out of Egypt and were in the valley near Beth Peor, east of the Jordan, in the land of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon and was defeated by Moses and the Israelites as they came out of Egypt. They took possession of his land and the land of Og, king of Bashan, the two Amorite kings east of the Jordan. This land extended from Aroa on the rim of the Arnon Gorge to Mount Sirion, that is Hermon, and included all the Arabah east of the Jordan as far as the Dead Sea below the slopes of Pisgah. Deuteronomy 5, verse 1 to 33, the Ten Commandments. Moses summoned all Israel and said, Hear Israel, the decrees and laws I declare in your hearing today. Learn them and be sure to follow them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us at Horeb. It was not with our ancestors that the Lord made this covenant, but with us, with all of us who are alive here today. The Lord spoke to you face to face out of the fire on the mountain. At that time, I stood between the Lord and you to declare to you the word of the Lord because you were afraid of the fire and did not go up the mountain. And he said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Hallelujah. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will hold for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy as the Lord your God has commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work. Neither you, nor your son or daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your ox, your donkey, or any of your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns, so that your male and female servants may rest as you do. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt and that the Lord your God brought you out of there with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Therefore, the Lord your God has commanded you to observe the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live long and that it may go well with you in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not set your desire on your neighbor's house or land, his male or female servant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. These are the commandments the Lord proclaimed in a loud voice to your whole assembly 
there on the mountain from out of the fire the cloud and the deep darkness and he added nothing more then he wrote them on two stone tablets and gave them to me when you heard the voice out of the darkness while the mountain was ablaze with fire all the leaders of your tribes and your elders came to me and you said the lord our god has shown us his glory and his majesty and we have heard his voice from the fire today we have seen that a person can live even if god speaks with them hallelujah but now why should we die this great fire will consume us and we will die if we hear the voice of the lord our god any longer for what mortal has ever seen the voice has ever heard the voice of the living god speaking out of the fire as we have and survived go near and listen to all that the Lord our God says. Then tell us whatever the Lord our God tells you. We will listen and obey. The Lord heard you when you spoke to me. And the Lord said to me, I have heard what these people said to you. Everything they said was good. Oh, that their hearts would be inclined to fear me and keep all my commands always. So that it might go well with them and their children forever. Go tell them to return to their tents, but you stay here with me so that I may give you all the commands, decrees, and laws you are to teach them to follow in the land I am giving them to possess. So be careful to do what the Lord your God has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Glory to God. New Testament and IV version. Luke 11 verse 5 to 32. Then Jesus said to them, suppose you have a friend and you go to him at midnight and say, friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, don't bother me. The door is already locked and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead or if he asked for an egg you will give him a scorpion if you then though you are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father in heaven give the holy spirit to those who ask him hallelujah jesus and Beelzebul. jesus was driving out a demon that was mute when the demon left, the man who had been mute spoke and the crowd was amazed. But some of them said, By Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he is driving out demons. Others tested him by asking for a sign from heaven. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Any kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and a house divided against itself will fall. If Satan is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? I say this because you claim that I drive out demons by Beelzebul. Now, if I drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your followers drive them out? So then, they will be your judges. But if I drive out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own house, his possessions are safe. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, he takes away the armor in which the man trusted and divides up his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes seven other spirits more wicked than itself and they go in and live there. And the final condition that person is worse than the first. As Jesus was saying these things, a woman in the crowd in the crowd called out, Blessed is the mother who gave you birth and nursed you. 
He replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. The sign of Jonah. As the crowds increased, Jesus said, This is a wicked generation. It asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was a sign to the Ninevites, so also will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with the people of this generation and condemn them, for she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom. And now something greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and now something greater than Jonah is here. Glory to God. Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 8, verse 32 to 36. Now then, my children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not disregard it. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For those who find me find life and receive favor from the Lord. But those who fail to find me harm themselves. All who hate me love death. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you've been blessed by these scriptures and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you to God's family. Kindly go ahead right now, send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com that is salvation in christ 101 at gmail.com god bless you please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on tiktok at sandra boyo aroleba Thank you for being here today. Remember to go ahead and share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. Encourage them to join us as we read our Bibles every single day, which is less than 20 minutes daily read time. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.